Hey guys, welcome back to JCW Outdoors. If this is your first time, thanks for joining us. Today is October 30th and it's a Saturday. That means we're gonna head on out and see if we can't find a rooster or two or three. One is nice. One is kind of my barometer of, all right, this is good. I've got a public land spot that I uh, discovered uh, last year. It was the first time I'd hunted it. There were birds out there, had a good time. So I'm optimistic I'll be able to find some. Just a little tip, when it's windy like this, I always kind of center my hunt around pushing back into the wind. So I'll park the truck and instead of getting into the wind right away, I'll work around so I can come back towards the truck. Uh, the reason for that being, I'm optimistic that if there are birds, I'm able to kind of corral them or, you know, push them into uh, the area where I'm going to finish up. And obviously, when you have a wind this strong, working into it is very helpful. It's always a good idea to work into the wind. At the same time, a good dog, if there's a light wind, it's not going to matter too much. You know, they're going to be out moving around, working back and forth. They'll find the scent. And honestly, it uh, works for better shots when you're walking with the wind as they can get out past the bird and push back towards you. Hope you guys are doing well and uh, happy early Halloween. Thanks. If the corn had been combined, we would be in business. It is not, so could be a little challenging, but either way, it's gonna be uh, gonna be fun to get out and see what we can find. Yeah, so here we go. Sage, here. No bird, I had to try it.
That a girl. That. Woo. Woo. We worked for him, Sage. We worked for him. Hey, look at you. Nice. Good. His feathers aren't super long. Not bad, just a nice healthy bird. The tiniest of nares. Check out those spurs though. Homeboy's a brawler. Sage. Oh god, I hey Sage. <laughs> I did not mean to drip all over you, but you look pretty. Oh, I was gonna say it, you look badass. Huh? <laughs> there. So I have got to believe, I could be wrong, but I think that rooster was sitting over the hill, went down by the water, worked up this ravine, kept going and going, and gotten those cattails, was sitting tight, and uh, Sage dropped the hammer. You know, it doesn't matter how many times I watch you do it. It's glorious every time. And good girl, Sage. Good. Even the hens are making this work. If you like watching this channel, like watching Sage, you know, granted she's a pointing lab, but she hunts like a flusher. Anyway, a friend of mine has been hunting for years and I finally talked him into uh, hooking up the GoPro. And uh, he runs a Springer Spaniel. Good dog, they hunt hard. It's a lot of fun to watch. But anyway, it's Lil Brow I Da channel. L I L B R O W H Y D A W space channel. Anyway, um, yeah, check him out. You know, he hunts similar to myself. You know, just a lot of the one man, one dog on public land in South Dakota. Um, you know, and that's, that's another thing is this is a hobby for me. I do it for posterity's sake. That's why I don't overload you with the, you know, the questions or the things that a lot of videos tell you to do. I want you to do it of your own accord. Anyway, check them out. I'll uh, spell it out for you here and yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. So I uh, get back to the truck, pick up my phone and uh, my wife says, are you hunting? And I was like, oh, I thought I mentioned that. But anyway, so I gave her a call. And I'm like, hey, baby, what's up? Anyhow, uh, kids are gone, so we're gonna go out and have an adult uh, real, like, date. Where, you know, you order a nice steak and you sit down, you don't have to tell anyone to uh, knock it off. Anyway, she was out shopping or whatever. I don't mean to be stereotypical, but that's what she was doing. But. She said, yeah, no rush. I said, so I should probably hunt another spot. She says, I don't care. And I'm like, nah, I'll just come home. Now I'm driving by uh, one of my favorite spots. I'm like, nah, I'll probably just hunt it quick. So, fingers crossed, hopefully I can uh, knock down another rooster. I know Sage is Jones in, so we're gonna see what we can do. Apologize about all the commentary on this video. I, um, yeah, I don't know if you like it or not. You can, you know, 
if you want to say something be like no just shut up just show us the the hunting the the dog work leading up to the pheasant that's good now so if you want otherwise yeah Sorry, I'm embarrassing myself with all the talking I'm doing. Good girl, CG. Good. She did not want to fly. And a pup. Sit. She's like, you sit. Come on. No, 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 no. Here. Well, everything except your butt. Watch him, watch him, watch him. Damn it. Hey, just wanted to do a quick outro to that hunt from yesterday, which was Saturday. So my intention was to go hunting today and put both videos together. However, I tweaked my back um, bad enough to the point where I, I can't hunt. Um, <laughs> I have a hard time getting up and down off the couch and into a vehicle. So been a lot of sitting around watching football today, which unfortunately is not how I like to spend my Sunday afternoon. So all that said, I didn't get to go today and I figured I had enough content from uh, the hunt on Saturday to uh, put it together. Um, two notes, that second rooster, the one that uh, we hit and it sailed across the slough, um, went and looked for it, no luck. Um, I, I'm confident it, uh, it did perish. It kind of did the, the classic lift up, lock the wings and sail to the ground. Um, I thought it might have tumbled, however, it was windy and it was hard to see. Hitting birds and losing them happens. Uh, you know, with a good dog, it happens less, but it does. It still happens. I hate it. It's probably, it's, it's not probably, it's the absolute worst thing about, you know, hunting pheasants. You know, wild public land roosters, they are survivors private land roosters are survivors. Any wild animal is going to have an instinct in it to evade predators. Sadly, it's just the nature of the game and uh, you know, things that can be done better are taking better shots, um, being prepared uh, for when they flush, keeping a good eye on where they go down and um, you know, there's a number of tactics you can employ to recover them. I don't know if these videos need an outro or not. It just kind of seems like a lot of times I'm hunting and then then I'm done but anyhow a whole lot of talking on this video I hope you guys don't mind and I mean if you like me if you don't like it usually just fast forward past it to something a little more entertaining but all that said um, I should be good and rested up for next weekend and yeah so anyhow that's that guys thanks again for coming along with Sage and I and we hope you enjoy take care